What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to talk about a certain reddit post made by Cosmo basically addressing what we most want for the game. I actually think people are reading too far into this too deep into it and we will talk about that in a second but hey people before we go any further if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out and I appreciate it for sure. Okay so we have recently had the 1.1.4 go faster update for Destiny 2 been here for almost a week now and to be honest it is better Destiny 2 is a better experience than it's been for a while PvP feels better and more people are enjoying it. The addition of Nightfall unique rewards are good too. I mean these changes which were sandbox changes to abilities and weapons are baby steps to get PvP to a place people are happy playing it for prolonged periods of time like we were in Destiny 1. Unique rewards to grind for in PvE I believe is a thing every one of us PvE players felt was needed and yes the addition of these Nightfall rewards are good. But we do need more than just one reward to chase a week. And yes, I understand the feeling of people stating it just isn't enough. But I'm actually pretty sure um, at the moment the studios over there in Seattle are busy spicing up the main DLC with even more things for us to do with this game. Where it will finally be at a place where it will again take over our lives like Destiny 1 did. Now let's talk about PvP for a second. With the speeded up ability cooldowns and the agility boost to certain supers, plus the addition of a fast paced 8 man rumble, PvP is definitely heading in a good direction. But there are still many many changes people feel are needed to get it to a place where we will be happy with it. Many people are making their voices heard over on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube video streams, everywhere. Surprisingly Cosmo posted this on Reddit which has sparked some real interesting factors. Ok so he said this, based on the conversation we have been watching, here is what I believe to be the most frequently requested changes and highest priorities of the community. He goes on to list, weapon slot changes, adding random rolls, making duplicate drops meaningful, lowering time to kill, more weapons and armors as unique rewards, secrets to discover, collectible items to find, more difficult activities, make exotics more powerful, direct access to specific activities, game types and strikes, longer tail progression and quest activities basically reason to grind, more vault space and storage solutions. He then states this isn't the complete list but this was a quick sample off the top of my head. Feel free to respond with what you think is important that is missing. This is not a list of promises I'm just letting you know what I've seen most requested by the community and what I am communicating to the dev team on what changes you want to see. The roadmap is the best source for tracking what changes we have communicated out. Many of these are already on there and we will be updating it again in early April. Let's take a look back at this list. This is basically everything we already had in Destiny 1 which has been removed for the second game. They are now thinking about how they can add it all back. What kind of logic went into the creation of this game? Was it one of that known would be sold half a game with them thinking it's acceptable? Or was it a genuine mistake on their behalf thinking we wanted a dampened down quarter scaled version of the first game which swallowed our lives? You tell me. All I know is these mistakes which they made in taking away things which should have been there from the get go have really affected the game. In a way it's a good thing with how transparent they are being now over fear of the game failing. I just wish this transparency they have came from other reasons. Now seeing Cosmo write off a list of well let's face it changes we all want for the game. This first of all shows me that they have actually seen the changes most people speak of when talking about what the game needs. Before now I don't think we heard of them mention random rolls, uh, the old weapon system, more reasons to grind and so on. So seeing Cosmo write this actually reassures me that at least they know what we want. Before now in all honesty I thought they would have known these big changes we've always said this game needs. I'm actually glad I'm wrong, they have been watching. So let's go through this list. Weapon slot changes, this is obviously referring to the old weapon slot system we had in Destiny 1, primary, secondary and a heavy. A weapon system I honestly can't see coming back, but please Bungie prove me wrong. Random rolls, this is something I can see coming and I believe it will be announced sometime soon, it's a major factor missing from the game and the things it adds in terms of reasons to play is crazy, making duplicate drops more meaningful. This could be associated with random rolls because at the moment once you have a certain weapon every other version of that weapon isn't even worth your time looking at it in your inventory it just instantly gets deleted. Random rolls change that, 
and it makes drops of the same weapon more meaningful just in terms of wanting to see each roll that roll being an undiscovered beauty something new something to chase that's all missing lowering the time to kill he's no doubt here talking about pvp the argument now is with ability and agility buffs power ammo cooldowns and so on a faster time to kill is needed to keep the pace up in fact even before these things were speeded up a faster time to kill has always been asked for in pvp more weapons and armors as unique rewards this we have realized after a few days of having nightfall unique rewards while the silicon aroma was fun to chase we need more than just a single item to catch each week we want numerous things to chase week in week out secrets to discover finding secrets in destiny 1 was one of the most fun things to do when people found out about the black spindle it opened up the doors for Bungie to go on and add so much more. I mean, we had a couple of things, but nothing else of major. But at the time, the hype in looking and searching for new secrets was beyond anything I can remember. Even spending countless hours in the Vault of Glass searching for that last remaining chest, these times are truly missed. Collectible items to find. Dead ghosts. These were so much fun to search for and having a collection of something you wanted to complete besides all the other things D1 offered, it added so much more by being so little. Another massively missed opportunity. More difficult activities. This I feel is something they're actually working towards already with Nightfall scoring cards and so forth. Make exotics more powerful. I mean I couldn't agree more. Are there any powerful exotics in Destiny 2 that make you actually feel like a boss using them? I can only think of the Legend of Accurus and that's in PvP after the recent change, but I mean does it compare to the likes of the Year 1 Suresh Regime, the Year 1 Vex Mythor class, the Year 1 Pocket Infinity, the Fawn, the Last Word, the Galahorn, the Truth and countless other exotics that were in Destiny 1? I don't think it does, so I agree here, we need more powerful exotics. Direct access to specific activities. In Destiny 1 if you wanted to run a certain strike, you could simply go to that said planet and play that strike if you wanted to play a certain game mode in PvP. You could, you can't do any of this in Destiny 2, you can't run back and do the story missions or adventures either. So much content here is missing in my opinion. It's ridiculous. Longer tail progression, quest activities and reasons to grind. I mean you guys don't need me explaining how this is missed in the game. It's in my opinion the number one issue this game has, no reason to grind. More vault space and a storage solution. I mean yeah, I guess vault space is needed, but for me it's more of a problem with things being organised into their own separate storage solutions. Like they say here, emblems, mod shaders and so forth shouldn't be taking up my armour and weapon slot spaces. But yeah, in saying that at the moment, the way the game is, I don't need space because there's nothing to chase to fill the empty slots I have. But with more content coming, we will need more space for sure. And that's the list people. Now Cosmo states many of these changes will already be on coming roadmaps. So I am super curious to see what he's referring to here. Remember though guys, these changes, although it's great seeing them speak of them, it's great seeing this list. It's great them saying at this point some are on coming roadmaps. But just remember how long it's taken for them to change what we've asked for so far. So as much as I'd love to say I'm happy at this point, I'm not very hyped we'll see any of these changes come anytime soon. But I am welcoming Bungie to prove me wrong here. And on that note guys, I am out. Let me know what you think about what's been stated here today. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks again for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.